my phone laying there, don't step on it. That was a good shot. That's his ass too. Well, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. So on today's video, me and the crappy man, we're going out. You know, normally when we get together, we either catch some toads or we catch them really, really fast. So we kind of, kind of did both in today's video, but we went out to some clearer water. Um, if you're not from around here, our rivers are just washed out. We got stuff floating all in the water, etc. So we headed down towards the dam, you know, just picked a little cove and we happened to find this huge marina. You know, we got a little tip from one of my daddy's buddies, you know, that might be biting a little bit there, but you know, and in the video, I don't have a lot of daddy's catches because honestly, the positions I would have them to get in, to get up under these pontoon boats or get up under all these ropes, you know, the camera wasn't facing towards the front. I should have brought my other camera, but he did catch a pretty good many. So I don't think I just whooped this butt too hard. Now I did a little bit, but not too hard. Now he put him in the boat. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there's not a lot of talking. It's just kind of fish catching. Like it's one of those videos where we're just going out there, but the way I am, I'm editing it is you get to see the whole cast and everything I'm doing in that cast. So take your time, watch the video. Maybe you can learn something. Now I do want to take a second to talk about the gear before the video starts. So if you don't want to hear that, just fast forward the video. Now what I personally was using was my five, six ACC, a uh, one piece rod. And I was using a 164 ounce jig head and a little stinker and the little minnow and crappy man green of course now the reason i wanted to go over this is because i tried to use a 124 and i tried to use a 132 and i might have caught two fish on those size jig heads versus the other i don't even know how many i caught but that 164 after i skipped because i mean i was skipping it probably 15 feet up under these pontoon boats and you know under the ropes and everything the 164 was allowing that jig to stay, you know, in the past video, I talked about jig head sizes. These fish were from anywhere from five feet down to 10 feet down. And once I got the jig up under there, if I was using a heavier jig, it was coming back to me too fast and it wasn't getting down to where the fish were. That's where the 164 just shines. So I was using the 164, Caught most of them on the little minnow, but I did catch a lot on the little stinker also. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. Like the video if you love crappy fishing as much as I do. I'm going to take you along on this journey. I'm going to teach you how to catch them. And we're going to have a good old time. And if you'd like to support the channel more, there are membership options down below. You click join and you're able to support the channel because... The video you're watching is free, but me going out and doing all this isn't free. I'm not going to beg you for your money though. Enjoy the video. Oh man, that joker knocked the crap out of it. Godly. <laughs> I was trying to wind up. Yeah. That sucker smoked it. Where you at? Oh, you it's a grown. Oh, shit. oh, he ain't that big. <laughs> yeah, he's good one, but not the way he was fighting. And we ain't caught nothing under 12 inches yet. <laughs> Man, as hard as he smoked that one, I'm about. So as hard as he hit that one, winding, I'm about to change. There you go. I seen that line jump. Another good one. Come in, you crazy fish. I'm a fine. Damn fish think they're bass. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. You know, 
Sucker. Broke me off. <laughs> yeah. Another toad. <laughs> lift him up over that damn rope. Nah, bro, my rod. This one. <laughs> I hit the damn sign. Some slow fishing. <laughs> it's the damn some slow fishing. <coughs> Working though, I guess. Been using that stinker on them. <laughs> put the stinker on? Yeah.
Oh, the money, that, that felt like a catfish. Huh? That one felt like a catfish. Oh, he's running like a damn crappy dude. He is a dang giant. What is crap? Crappy? He knocked the fire out of it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you caught him out in the open, didn't you? Yeah, it was in front of that damn boot. Oh, shit. Nah. Better get in there and get you some. Yeah, I'm gonna try. <laughs> get up in your hole, though. I'm through with it. What's up?
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm currently out here working on you guys' orders. I appreciate all the support. Like, y'all do not understand how much it means to me and the crappy man. You know, more to me since I've kind of just taken over everything and I've been, I mean, any order you do, nine times out of 10, I'm the one out here doing it. Um, Daddy is about to make some jig heads for me though because I need like 300 of them and I got other life life things to do my wife ain't really feeling too well lately so but i appreciate everybody's orders like you're putting food on my family's table you're putting gas in my truck uh you pay my bills let's be honest and also i'm able to keep stock of everything um it's just crazy that two years ago that we started with one mold this mold right here is what started it all and that's the little the little stinker mold and now i've got like 10 12 i don't even know how many molds i <laughs> uh, got all these colors and everything i mean normally i do each order you know whatever you order i make it so i mean everything's fresh you're not getting like three week old plastic which i mean there ain't nothing wrong with three week old plastic but i don't know i just figured i'd end this video on a on a good note i just appreciate every single one of you guys out there i appreciate the members of the channel appreciate you viewing i appreciate you ordering jigs i appreciate just everything i'm hoping we blow up this year i'm able to get the things i need to push out more content teach you guys how to catch them more so y'all hang with me and we're gonna do what we do we're gonna go catch some slabs I do have a couple other videos planned for the next coming weeks. The bass tournaments are about to start picking up. I actually have one on the 28th. So I'll probably make a bass fishing video or two here in the next couple weeks. I'm trying to do every other day. So there's going to be a lot of content coming out. So y'all stay stick with me if you're at the end of the video. I love you. Thanks for watching the whole thing. And I'm going to catch you on the next one.